Hey guys, this is Subhash Sesmishra, your test coach. In our previous video, we have learned how to create a testng.xml file and how to execute a test suit. Today, we will learn how to manage multiple test suits. So, for example, you are working in a big project and you have multiple test suits. Like you have a functional test suit, you have a regression test suit. So, how you will execute these suits? individually or if you want to execute all these test suit together so let's see how we will able to do it in test engine for example we have multiple packages like regression test functional test and we have different test cases inside it so for example let me create different packages here uh, i'm just copying our old package and i'll just rename it so i'll name it as regression okay and one more i'll create functional okay so test remains same inside that if i open only thing is package is different so let me close everything and we'll do little bit of modification so for this functional let me open it i am removing all this before and all it is simple now we have only three test cases here and here we have only one test case in this regression also we have for example in regression we have only two okay and here we have one test case fine this is just for our understanding right so i'm not doing lot of modification here so if i want to execute only functional test so this only functional package so how we will do that so we need to create another test ng.xml file and we can name it as functional test suit and for example if we have to execute this regression then what we'll do again we'll create another regression test suit and we'll execute it so let's see let's do that and let's see how we'll do so i'm just copy pasting the old things and i will change the name so this one i'll give regression okay and i will create one more i'll name it as functional okay so let's open this regression so this one the suit name will give regression suit and here let me test name is for example verify login regression just to understand i am giving this kind of name and this one also regression okay we need to change this package name right because we have different package package name is regression so what i'll do regression dot test one here it is regression dot test two okay fine so if we'll execute it let's see run as test and shoot so here what we are seeing in a regression test one we have only two tests and here we have one test so total three tests got executed let's see in the regression inside test one we have only two so those two got executed so like this we can create different xml and we can execute from here similarly we will do modification to this functional.xml so here we'll name anyway the suit name is functional suit and test name is verify login functional just for our understanding i'm giving this kind of name and here also so here i'll name is functional and this package name will change to functional okay here also same and let's execute it right click run as test and issue okay this got executed this has three and here it is one because 
if we'll go to functional test one here we have three tests so total four fine so like this you can create multiple xmls and you can execute individually whatever you need and inside your test sheet, test suit you are putting whatever you need right uh, here you need regression so these things you are setting inside the suit so this is one way you can create different different xml files and you can execute whatever you need if you will have a situation where you want to execute both these xmls together so how you will do that so let's see how we can do that so you need to create a master testng.xml file okay so here we have already a testng.xml file right so let me copy that and let me name it as master testng okay let me open it so here i'll remove all these things right so i can tell it as master shoot i remove everything so what you need to do here you have to add some suit files you have to write something like this suit files okay so you can see the suit files and inside that what you need to do you need to give suit hyphen file okay and here what we will do we will give path path of the xml file so here we have one functional dot xml right so what we will do dot slash because we want to go to the root folder and then we will give this functional dot xml functional dot xml so this is one so if we we'll execute this right only your functional xml will get executed so here you are seeing right your functional verify login functional verify page title functional that got executed if you want both because this is what we want right we want both to execute at the same time and here what will give a regression let's run it so now you can see right first verify login functional verify page title functional then we have the regression shoot here it was the functional to shoot then we have the regression shoot and inside regression shoot whatever regression test cases it got executed so that's how you can manage multiple shoots and multiple test ng dot xml files thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel